are well and having fun wherever you are in the world. I am currently preparing for a long haul flight to New Zealand. And yesterday I started packing my carry-on bag and I thought why don't I share with you guys what I take when I go on the plane. Long haul flights is something that a lot of people dread. I mean if you want to go to these incredible places like Australia and New Zealand there's kind of no other way to get there so you've got to find a way to best endure the flight and I think a lot of that comes down to preparation and making sure you've got the essentials before you get to the airport, before you start panicking and before you get on the flight. So here are my tips and bits that I recommend for surviving a long haul flight. First up, you're gonna need a bag to put all your bits in. But if you're taking on cabin luggage and you've got maybe a hard suitcase that goes in the overhead lockers, and make sure you have another little bag so you're not annoying everyone getting up and down and getting bits out. I always take my cancan with me. If you follow me, you'll have seen this. Now I'm sure there are better bags out there, but this one does it for me. It fits my MacBook in it, my 13 inch laptop. It's durable, it's light, I use it as a day bag when I'm away um, and it also folds up super small if you want to just chuck it in your luggage and be done with it after the flight. I will leave the links to everything I talk about in this video down below so if you do like anything. First up is a refillable water bottle. It's good for the environment, it keeps water cold for up to 24 hours, it keeps hot water hot for up to 12 hours which covers most long haul flights. Being on planes for extended periods of time can really take its toll on your skin um, and your general hydration, so having water to hand is a great thing. Something a lot of people don't know, and actually one of my top travel tips and budget traveling tips, is that you can take these through security. So you can take one from home, as long as it's empty and there's no liquid in it, you can take it through security, and then when you get through, you can ask one of the coffee shops to fill it up for you, or you can use the water fountains that a lot of airports provide. I got my bottle from SHO, which is an online shop, and I personally love the white aesthetic. It's also the perfect fit in the side pocket of my backpack. Second up is a portable charger. Now, I actually don't know how I traveled without this. On the plane, it means I can charge my phone, my GoPro, my iPad. This is also great to double up for airport battery. If I'm out for the day, if I'm exploring the city and I'm using GPS on my phone and stuff, it just means that you won't run out of battery. Next up, an eye mask. Now, I use this on planes and when I'm traveling. It does as it says on the tin. It masks your eyes from the daylight. So depending on what time you're sleeping and what time zone you're about to enter, you can get the sleep that you need on the plane. Next up is some snacks for the plane. Um, I will usually grab a salad before I go on the plane to avoid eating the plane food because let's face it, it's not good for you. Long haul flights tend to leave me feeling quite bloated and yucky and plane food does not help. So I like to prepare um, by grabbing some bits at the airport um, and taking some snacks that I'm not tempted by the in-flight ice creams or chocolates. I would much rather indulge when I get to my destination. Another essential, which is quite personal for me, um, but I always carry carry peppermint tea bags with me. They always make me feel cleansed on the plane and it avoids me drinking drinks that are going to dehydrate me. Some earplugs. I have just actually got some brand new ones from Happy Plugs. Um, I always take my own earplugs because I want to use them when you're waiting at the gate and in the airport as well. And sometimes the ones in flight, they can be a bit too tight or they don't sit properly. So having some headphones that fit you and that are good for you is great. It is the nicest thing in the world to freshen up on a long haul flight or if you're at a connecting airport and you're waiting to get on your second plane. I always decant my favourite face washes and moisturisers into some little pots like these. You can get miniatures for a lot of brands but the ones that I use don't so I grab these pots and they're a pound from Primark and I just decant a bit and put some labels on as to what they are. Next up a mini toothbrush and toothpaste. Same thing, um, the root of all my cleanliness feelings come from my teeth I find. So if I, well, washing my face is nice but then brushing your teeth it just makes you feel fresh. Another essential for me is lip balm. I said earlier about the hydration and making sure you drink enough water on planes. But it's just nice to feel hydration whether it's moisturiser, drinking a lot of water or having a lip balm. All of the toiletries I've just mentioned I usually put in a security friendly bag. Um, I think I just picked up a couple from the airport last time I was there. Um, putting it all in there prior to getting to the airport just means that when you get to the security you can just take it straight out of your wash bag. You don't have to faff around and you can have a smooth ride through the security. Another essential for me is taking a pashmina with me. Um, flights can get a bit cold with the air conditioning so it provides an extra layer. I was actually on a really, really cold flight back from New York a couple of weeks ago and it was so cold that I could hardly breathe because like, the air was so cold going through me so I actually, you're gonna laugh, I put this over my face and it filtered the air so that by the time the air got to me it was warmer. Now that sounds crazy I know but that's one use and um, obviously another one is just wrapping it around yourself, using it as extra comfort or around your neck. Or... It's just a great thing to have and again I mean I'm not folding this properly but it doesn't take up that much room and um, so it's a great addition to your carry-on. 
And last but not least, no matter how prepared your body is and your face and your teeth for the flight, you're going to need something to entertain you. Long haul flights can be really frustrating, people can get really fidgety and there's only so many times you can walk up and down to the toilet or ask for another snack and coffee. So something to entertain you is great to have. Um, I usually have a lot of work to do so I take my laptop with me. Remember if you're taking technology make sure it's fully charged and that you have like a portable charger in case you run out. Taking a book or some art stuff or I don't know whatever entertains you. Identify it and make sure you've got it with you. I think that's my long haul flight essentials. If there's anything that I've forgotten then I will pop it up on the screen now and um, I will be doing a blog post to accompany this uh, with a little bit more detail on exactly what products I've used and where you can get them. I hope this video has been of help to you guys and um, if you like it please give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it then share it on your social and let everyone else know how to survive a long haul flight.